What is up guys, Dane again. This video is from a digital course that I was working on called Facebook Ad Mechanics. Instead of just trying to release it and trying to make you buy it, I am actually just going to give the content for you for free. Each lesson is going to have a short uh, lecture section where I just simply talk to you about what we're going to be accomplishing explaining it. And then after that, we're going to be jumping to my computer and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So with that being said, go ahead and enjoy the lesson. You're going to be hearing from me talking about what we're about to do and I hope this serves you. Let's talk people. Now, when we run an ad, we have to make sure we're targeting the right people. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I do not like boosted ads. It's mainly because a boost really limits who you can target, and that's the beauty, the true beauty of Facebook ads. You're able to target by interest, by demographic. There's so much information to target that really, I mean, once you learn all the information you can use to target, you'll be hard pressed to go back to just boosting an ad. So today we're actually gonna be talking a little bit about introductory of how to find your right audience because you want to make sure you're targeting the right people. If you're targeting the wrong people, it's going to be expensive, you're going to have low conversions, or even just low engagement. And one thing I want to make sure absolutely clear, we all understand, say it with me, not everyone is your customer. That's one thing I talk to my clients about. When I say, who's your customer? They say, uh, those people over there. Well, okay, what do you offer? Do they actually want to hear from you? Do you think they would actually be really interested? I know you want to sell them, but do they actually want to be sold by you? Most people don't want a promotion shoved in their face unless they're the right person. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be creating a couple audiences. I'm going to be showing you where to go. Let's go ahead and jump to my computer and let me show you the ropes. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in and find our audience or at least get to know a little bit more about them. Now, as I mentioned, not everyone is going to be our client. That's one thing we really have to remember because when it comes to running ads, it gets very expensive when we're just starting to show ads to people that really aren't our client. We want to make sure we're doing this in the proper manner, making sure we're not just throwing money at people that don't want to hear from us. Now, what I like to do is I like to get a general idea of who I'm trying to target, and this is where I start. I go up here to Power Editor. I click down. I go to All Tools, and it's right here under Audience Insights. Now this is the first thing that pops up. It's right here. Later in this class, I'm gonna be talking more about people connected to your page and also a couple other really cool things to get to know the people who have already bought from you or already following you, who are already pretty much your customer. But we're looking for cold people, you know, people that don't know us yet. So we're gonna to go to everyone on Facebook. Now what this does, it kind of gives you an idea of who is on Facebook. Right here, here is the demographic of everyone on Facebook in the United States of America. Now, the example I'm going to use is going to be, say, for a veterinary clinic, you know, for puppies and dogs and cats. I'm a cat person, by the way. And let's just say they're located in Temecula. Now, since they're a local veterinary clinic, they don't need to be targeting the entire United States of America, right? So let's go ahead and cut that down. Now I got it down to Temecula, and as you can tell, we're starting to get an idea about who is who on Facebook. Interesting things, in Temecula, mostly women, and if anything, compared to all the rest of Facebook, you know, it's more in the 35 to 54 range. Now let's think about vet. Vets are not a cheap place, so we have to figure there might be some 18 year olds that can afford it, but let's say about 25, a little bit more established. And we have to figure on social media, yeah, you have to fear appeal above 65, maybe not as active. You can go ahead and leave that on there, but for this example, I'm gonna stop at about 64. And now let's think about this way, interest. This is a fantastic one to start with. Let's just try something really generic like pets. And there we have it. When it comes to targeting pets in this area, in this gauge group, we know that it makes a lot more sense to target women. There's a lot more of them on Facebook compared to guys. It doesn't mean you shouldn't target guys, but think about it. You know, we're almost 30% more women that are interested in pets. Now, let's say you are wanting to run a promotion for your veterinary clinic, and it only targets people who like cats. Like, say you have... Um, 
I don't know, a cat flea dip special or something like that. Let's just say for that, for example. Let's just type in cats. And as you can tell, ooh, for this, we are definitely targeting women when it comes to running that promotion for cat owners. Now, I want you guys to know something real quick here because it's real easy to kind of accidentally select the wrong thing. When I typed in cats, there's a lot of different things. Must love cats. I think that's a Facebook page or something like that. Cats the musical? Well, that's not going to quite line up because that's people who like the Broadway musical cats. There might be a little overlap, but not as much. And of course, if you're not sure where to start out, if you just click here, you can actually go ahead and start digging into deep stuff. For example, hobbies. You can see what type of events they like, what type of pets they have. For example, that's where we kind of got ours from. If you're looking for fashion people or people into technology, you can see what type of technology they like. This is getting really, really direct, but you know what? It could be for your company, whether it's an online business, a national business, or local business. You want to make sure you're targeting the people that actually have the same interests, who are more likely to like it. Now, here's the cool thing. Staying with our example about people who like cats in this area, I'm going to go ahead and change this to women since it's just pretty much women at this point. We can also take a look more about themselves. This gives us a little bit more ammunition when it comes to think of what other ways can I advertise to this person. Check this out. We can see their lifestyle all right here. And, these, and of course, Facebook gives you all little explanations. They like solid surroundings. They're, they're well-established people. They're happy to be where they're at. They're not exactly say. I mean, they're not like, you know, jumping around and doing um, calisthenics and stuff like that. You know, they're more about, you know, taking the kids to school. And that's great. You can see the relationship status. Majority of them are married, college educated. Things that they tend to care about. I mean, when it comes to their uh, job titles and stuff. Home services and personal care education, health care. I live in this area, and yeah, this is all right on the money, to be honest with you. Let's look at a little bit more things. Activity. This will kind of give us an idea of what they like to do. As you can tell, this is a very social bunch. Look at all these comments, post comments, shares, page likes. They're more likely to do that stuff. So when it comes to writing ads, I mean, okay, we kind of have a good idea about which ads to even start with, you know, which campaign to start with. Okay, these people are more likely to just be chatty to begin with. That's great. Again, we can look a little bit more into their household. We can see that they are uh, pretty affluent. So when it comes to, say, taking their cat to the vet, they probably can fit the bill, which is good because we have to pay our bills, right? And, of course, we also can see purchase behavior. Now, this one I've heard you should kind of take it with a grain of salt just because, think of it this way, women, but they're not buying health and beauty. A little bit hard to believe, or even household products, but they're big on subscription services. A little interesting. I mean, you can even see what type of vehicle they're looking for. I'll admit, I'm not sure where they're looking for that from. I mean, it uh, looks like it's from this company called Data Logics. But you know what? What really matters is this. Ah, this is the keys to the city. You want to know what people like or what they're looking for? You want to really get to know your customers? You see what else they like. Oh, baby Temecula. What is this? Let's take a quick look. Wong's Donuts. Pretty self-explanatory. Temecula Wine Country Talk. Air Shuttle. What's up, Temecula? As I said, super active bunch. And this is probably a real big one right here. They are pet lovers. Oh, baby Temecula looks to be a baby store. As you can tell, just what we were saying, they're established people. They're more about shopping for their kids and taking them to school. Since these people are shitting cats, as you can see right from here, they are super, super adamant about trying to help people find their pets. So they, so when they do see an ad talking about, hey, when was the last time your cat's been flea dipped? They're going to think, oh, wow, I don't know. I need to go ahead and do so. So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and play with your audience insights and just kind of brainstorm, create the perfect or the mostly perfect customer avatar of who you're looking to attract. Think of a couple of key things and then go into here and see what you're looking at. Go ahead and give that a shot and I'll see you guys in the next video.